Today on Xboxer Briefs, we're taking a brief look at the Disney Extreme Skate Adventure. Yeah, Toy Story Tony Hawk. This is really a thing. Let's go. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure is centered around a kids skateboard competition slash casting call with 10 kids crowned as part of the Extreme Skate Crew. From those 10, two of them were crowned superstars and placed front and center at the select screen. You play as one of a selection of characters, either the aforementioned superstars Ryan or Mally Ann, or a character from one of three Disney or Pixar properties, Toy Story, The Lion King, and Tarzan. Those familiar with the Tony Hawk formula should feel right at home. You skate through levels based on areas tied to the selected character, using the environment to string together tricks and run up your score. Additionally, cameos from other franchise regulars will prompt you for certain goals like collecting the five letters spelling skate, grinding on a certain rail, or achieving a target score in a limited amount of time. Progressing through these levels unlocks additional ones and certain tasks can be carried out to unlock other characters like Zerg, Jesse, Jane from Tarzan, and even Little Romeo. For those who really want to play as any character right off the bat, this can all be circumvented with the use of some good old cheat codes. From a presentation standpoint, Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure looks pretty good and fits the time period well. In an era where licensed games were a dime a dozen, it's cool to see one so faithful to the source material. The game also offers plenty to those who are looking for a lot of pickup and play capability with a number of unlockable characters and levels and tons of accessories which can be added to your create a skater. But let's be honest, you're here to play as a Disney character, aren't you? At the time, Toys for Bob games, who would later go on to make the Crash and Spyro trilogy remasters, had yet to develop on a Tony Hawk game, and some of that lack of experience comes through in the level design. Some of the features present here just aren't as player-friendly or lack a bit of the polish that the Neversoft team was capable of for their flagship series. Lip and grind tricks can be pulled off a little too easily, with most aerial tricks requiring near laser precision to land. Another minor gripe I came across was when completing a goal or locating stat points. When these events occur, the game will abruptly ask whether you'd like to save your game, and there's no way to turn off this alert. I appreciate the need to avoid losing progress by asking so readily, but it can throw off the rhythm of your tricks or even pop up mid-trick. Inclusion of an autosave would have been a welcome addition here, but at the time was not yet the norm. Overall, the audio and voice acting is decent, with a few primary players able to voice their characters from the movies. You'll most certainly come across John Ratzenberger as Ham. Let's see if you can land a trick on all the blocks that spell out Andy's name. And Joe Ramped as Wheezy. <coughs> it's too dark and quiet in here. In the Toy Story themed levels. However, big names like Tom Hanks and Tim Allen aren't present, and having to find close enough replacements is an unfortunate decision that had to be made. While the soundtrack is certainly aligned with the times, I found a few of the tracks such as Downfall by Trust Company and Audio Vents The Energy to be a bit off for the overall tone of the game and its target audience. However, the game does allow for both turning off certain tracks or even importing music ripped from CDs to the Xbox hard drive, the latter being a feature only available to the Xbox edition. Considering the licensed soundtrack and Disney's tight grip on its properties, I'd see it unlikely that Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure would ever see a remaster or even be added to backwards compatibility. At this stage, it even lacks compatibility with the Xbox 360, so if you're looking to join in on the fun, you'll need to play it on the original hardware. For parents looking for a way to introduce your kids to the Tony Hawk series, here's your opportunity. Due to some of the flaws in execution, I may not be able to recommend this for everyone, but for those who may be missing the Tony Hawk series, or mega fans of the included Disney and Pixar properties, it's worth the low price of admission on whatever platform you can find it on. But you'll find some additional features like the custom soundtracks and 480p output exclusive to the Xbox version. That'll about do it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.